Hi tribe, this is Jax in my kitchen today. We are going to make a comfrey healing salve. We are going to be using, obviously, our comfrey oil that we used in part one and part two, yarrow oil, and plantain oil. I did the same process for the plantain and for the yarrow to extract the uh, medicinal properties of those plants as I did in the um, comfrey, and you saw that video. so. You could do this, apply the same techniques for those um, herbs. What will you need for this recipe is two ounces, two and a half ounces of beeswax. And what you want is the pellet. This is the easiest one to work with. You're also gonna need some tallow. I love adding tallow to my salve because it is rich in vitamin A, vitamin E. It's very healing and nourishing for the skin. It's literally um, nutrients for the skin. In this measuring cup, we have two cups of the infused oils. Now, because I'm focusing mostly on the comfrey, I did one cup of the comfrey infused oil and then I did a half cup of yarrow and a half cup of plantain and then bring them together, it's gonna, they're gonna make a powerful salve. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get a double boiler, um, some kind of double boiler system going on. And if you're not familiar with double boilers, basically just um, water on the bottom with a pan or a bowl on top. The first thing you want to do as far as um, making your salad is you need to melt this wax. So that's the first thing you want to do. Wax has a higher melting point than the oils in the towels so you want to make sure this is melted before you add the um, oils in there okay so here we are my wax has completely melted and this is what you want the next thing you want to do is add your towel and if you're not familiar with tallow, it's basically um, render beef fat. And it, this one is from the kidneys of the grass-fed cow. Make sure you get some grass-fed tallow if you're going to use any type of um, tallow because fat is where the toxins are held. And you don't want any kind of toxins and chemicals or hormones in your tallow because remember that's going to go right into your skin. And essentially, this is nutrients for your skin. So you want to feed the skin, you want to give it healing herbs, All right, so you want to melt that up real good. Now you can add essential oils um, if you would like to. I'm going to go ahead and add some lavender essential oils and because I mean there's not much scent to the comfrey or the, it just kind of smells like green grass to me. Alright so now that's nice and melted. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my comfrey, yarrow, and plantain infused oils. So look at that. <laughs> uh, it's like a jungle in there. Okay, we're going to stir that up. When the oil hit the um, tallow, because the oil was colder than the, um, the tallow, it did that funky, I don't know, it looked like a forest in there for a minute there. Now we have everything nice and melted. So now I like to do this until I start seeing a, a light, what's called tracing. And typically that takes about five, five to eight minutes even 10 minutes sometimes, when you actually can be able, you'll be able to see a line go through the, the liquid. But it, it's not necessarily, you know, it's not something that you need to wait for either. All right, so now that all my oils and tallow and beeswax are nicely infused, I'm gonna add lavender. And I'm gonna add about, About 10 drops, and you can go up to 20 drops if you want. I don't want it overly lavender, I'm just going to add 10. But you can go up to 20, and you can add other essential oils. Um, frankincense would be a nice one here, especially if it's going to be for the skin. Peppermint can also help soothe muscles. So we're, we're basically making a salve that's good for joint pain, 
muscle pain, um, healing bones, you know, if you broke your bones, things like that, that's going to help aid in the healing process of that. That's just what this recipe is really good for. So what I have done is I've transferred the oil into this um, measuring cup to make it easier to pour. So it's going to be a little tricky. Be careful because you are dealing with hot wax here. So I would recommend taking your time. Even if it's spilled, no problem. To avoid getting burnt. Okay. And if you can see, it's already starting to solidify. So we want to pour this before it starts solidifying. Do one more. All right. If it starts solidifying, just put it back in the pot to remelt it. Just gonna put it back in there for now, and I'm gonna keep it on the stove until I find a jar for that one. In the hot water. Just gonna keep that there. So now at this point, place it in the refrigerator until it solidifies. We're back with the comfrey salve. And if you stay tuned for the other videos, we used yarrow, plantain, and comfrey oil extract. All of them are amazing for soothing the skin, inflammation, rashes, wounds, healing of the um, any kind of joints or bone issues. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. And this is the final product. This is how they look. Now, if you look, when I scoop it up, it's kind of waxy, a little bit waxy. That's why we added the wax. Kind of holds the um, the shape, the shape. I don't know the consistency that we want using the wax. Okay. You can lather it up. You can even use a band. Say you have an open wound. Just take a glob of it. Put it right on there. Add a band aid, and you're good to go. All right, well, stay tuned for more videos and I will be around. Till next time, we'll do more videos for you guys. Make sure you share and like it and subscribe it and comment it and do whatever else you guys do on YouTube. All right, shalom.